Let's finish this tutorial. I'm assuming I'm still on the tutorial. I don't think I'm free yet. And then we will go on adventures. I really gotta separate that grappling hook out somehow. Okay, we're not... well... Everything good? Looks like everything's good. Okay, so inventory... iron. And lead. Okay, so we just discovered a lot of stuff. I can build some reasonable, uh, some reasonable vehicle to explore Mars. Yes, by all means, John. Mars has many secrets for you to uncover as soon as you will soon discover. Explore the desert. Well, what do we have access to? So wheels, yes. Planks, yes. Oh, wait, no, no, no. These are things that I've just seen. What I want to look at is this. So plates, iron wheels, copper wheels... Iron engines, use steam to create a fast, fast rotational output. Iron letter, lever, control machinery through multiple cable signals. Okay, that's important. Storage chest, storage safe, a pro propeller, a pressure tank, a screw propeller. We might be able to fly. Pressure plates, timers, delay, a converter, a knot gate, an and gate, diode gate, Foundation attached to terrain, thus providing a stable base for static structures, a cannon, and a poison module that adds a slow damaging debuff to weapon attacks. Okay. Well, what do we do? I guess we might as well grab the poison off of this guy. We still haven't gotten any mining tools. Wait, can I seriously not bring this little sucker with me? Uh, okay, let's just go straight for a little while. I I honestly have no idea if I'm still in the tutorial or not. The screw propeller means water. Yeah, but the other propellers might mean flight. But yeah, I'm just gonna go straight for a bit. We found a bookshelf. Thank heavens, the bookcase has my workshop journal in it, with sketches and ideas for machine parts. This will surely aid me in my travels on this forbidding planet. Probably foreboding. Okay, unlock the lamp, poison module, and iron boiler. Let's start with the, uh... Let's start with the iron boiler. Or, no. I actually don't think we have access to the iron boiler yet. Nor the lamp. Okay. Well, this looks promising. Okay, let's tear off all these spikes. I don't think we need them anymore. And their combat effectiveness has been proven to be limited limited at best. A lot of wood. Some amount of water. We should probably grab the water as we go by. I've got a decent chunk, but I might as well grab more. Oh my god, I cannot swim. Or maybe I can swim, but I can't jump out of water or climb out of water at all. Okay, well, I'm, I'm just gonna go straight until we find some, some reason not to. There we go. What on earth is that? What on Mars, you mean? Yes, you've probably already surmised. Some intelligent life form built it. 
You mean the Martians? They exist? As far as I know, they do not. I believe this structure was built thousands of years ago by a more advanced civilization. It seems they were prolific throughout the solar system, and they came originally from the planet Vulcan. Vulcan, the planet... That planet orbits very close to the sun. It was discovered because of observed irregularities in the orbit of Mercury. Right up. R probably right on? Right. Oh. I believe... Uh, yeah, probably right on. I believe the Vulcanians built this structure. We should explore it, by all means. Explore the structure. Flux Vortex Strength. I feel like if I drive into that, I'm in trouble. That looks quite astounding, like a stable vortex in the ether itself. Yes, it seems the Vulcanians were able to directly manipulate the ether. I think it was the whole basis of their technology. Just as my invention, the ether propeller can. Granted, but in a vastly more advanced manner. The Vulcanians could transform matter, directly influence plants and animals, and were even apt to te telepathic communication. All through ether manipulation. Well, let's save. I'm not. Dang it. Okay, there we go. Room! Oh, he might not like this. Oh. I can't. Do not go near that barrier. It'll surely boil your flesh. I know better than to get near a John. The ether power source has somehow overloaded the beam generator and the top is blown off. What is the other what's on the other side of the beam? It must be the control room for the structure. It will surely contain valuable Vulcanian technology if only we could get to it. I was thinking I could use my ether propeller technology to dissipate the power source. That should power down the beam. Yes, but you need to rebuild the propeller for that, if only. What was that? An ether storm is brewing. It could be dangerous to stay this close to the flux vortex. You should get back to the surface. Stop breaking my shit. I don't have that many resources. It looks like it actually only just broke the uh, the substructure and nothing else. Anything else? Nope. All right, we're good. A little laggy, but we're good. We wait. Hold on. Bango. Oh, background detail. Nothing more. <laughs> Wheelie. Curiouser and curiouser, there seems to be a state of turbulent ether flux all over the planet. More than that, Sean. These storms cause strange demonic creatures to appear. Very aggressive. You should attack these creatures before you they can get the better of you. But the- No! Ah. Okay, note to self. Get this out of here. We'll figure it out later. Right now it's a mistake. A danger mistake. I should probably also keep my crossbow well, uh, well loaded because I've been living on the edge maybe a bit too much. I did not care for that one bit, a storm event in the ether itself. You should harvest the corpse of the strange demonic animals you killed. That substance, it exhibits subtle phase changes, almost like it had some direct connection to the underlying ether. That substance could prove very useful. Why don't you analyze it? Turn it to the an analysis engine. Can I, can I just bring the analysis engine with me? Like, I feel really bad for the, for the little gooner that I just chucked in there. Like, poor guy is just sitting in there being like, science, science, science. I don't remember these things being here. 
I think we're almost done with the tutorial. Oops. Mr. Scorpion's coming to bite your wheels. He actually has the ability to do so. It's annoying. Oh, speaking of. Fuel that again. Okay, at least at least fueling my craft is not actually very expensive. Should probably stop gathering so much wood. I think I'm pretty much set for this stuff for like forever. Okay. Keep murdering these things. Oh. They like grapple onto you. I wonder if they, I wonder if they're like they just hold on or if they're actually like a th threat more than that. Please stop coming to bite my wheels. It's just inconvenient. Nope. Give me that body. Give me your body. At some point, we'll have a Roomba ability. At some point. Bango. Well, at least it's getting us small amounts of EXP. Are these just rocks, or is that... I have no idea. <laughs> well, on we go back. Back... Back we go. Hopefully this time I don't get... Okay, I'm not stuck in the bookshelf. Yeah, definitely picking something with a little bit more horsepower in the future. We should probably go back in that cave and get a bunch more iron. Honestly. Because there was a ton of it. I just didn't feel like going for it. Oh, we should probably get that foundation. Uh, I'm not sure if I can make ramps, though. Or just make it so I could get the resources up high and nothing more. No. Oh. Am I really out of shots? Man, these things run out fast. Hopefully there's some kind of, like, um, armor stock that I can get in the, uh, armory? Or, like, ammo supply that I can get in the future. Okay. Whoops. Do not press tab, I don't know what it does, but it doesn't go well. Okay, so niter, flax, ethereum, azurite, from Leyland, rubber, coal. Anything else? I think that's the extent of it. Okay, so we've made a bunch of new discoveries. Go talk to this guy. Let's go talk to me! The Ethereum will let you build flux antenna, but you'll also need some alloy materials, which you have yet to discover. That should be easy enough. Yes. And no, the deep cave should contain what you need, but deeper down are darker denizens as well. Okay. So we're going back in that cave. On we go! I'll go get my hands on a bunch of iron, and then I think I might reinvent this whole thing as something considerably more durable. Probably squatter. Terrain might be a bit of an issue, but maybe I can set something that I can, like, change... Well, actually, if I just use a, uh... If I just use a, a secondary control with a grappling hook, that should solve my problems. What the... Uh... What? Oh. Would you like to send a crash report? Yes? Uh, how far does that send me back? Hopefully it auto-saved when I went, went into the cave. I'm gonna be a bit sad if it didn't. Load game. Vroom boom. Load game. How far back? Okay, good. Uh, okay. Things get kind of funky when you do that. Now what do we have here? 
Got more of these weird darkness creating creatures. Oops, hold on. They didn't like that. I don't know if I killed them all. Well, considering I'm not under constant attack, I'm going to assume that I they're all dead. At least the save system's a good one. Yeah. If you're gonna have a game that's vaguely unstable, make sure it auto saves constantly. That'll solve a lot of problems, and it'll make it so your aud your audience, your fan base, isn't like perpetually mad at you. What games? I mean, honestly, I guess I was playing Druid Stone recently. I finished a mission and then uh, it just like it just gave up on me, and it's like, well, my motivation for this game has diminished considerably. It's just not fun to, like, lose stuff in a crash. I should make a box. Uh, let's see. It's accessories. Okay, so let's, let's toss over... some amount of the wood, probably. Because those are things that I'm not going to need a whole lot of. Same thing with the extra belts and the extra pipes. Unfortunately, some of these are, a lot of these are things that I might need in the immediate future or will be looting in the immediate future. Well, the extra inventory space is welcome, regardless. Oh, I have even more wood in my inventory. I realize, okay, two. Ladder to the future. Okay, let's undo all of these spare ones because we don't need that, all right. <coughs> you always have your games autosave every five minutes. I do when it's available, but every once in a while I'll play a game that's just like, what's autosaving? That's always unsatisfying. Get out of here, Chumbawambulus. I said get out. And by here, I mean life. Well, he's worth a lot. Oh, boy. And he is squelchy. Okay, so let's grab these. Let's harvest these resources. And then it's... I'll remake my vehicle. Probably. And then we might switch games. Just because. I'm enjoying this, but... It's also... God, I have so many things to cover. It is an eternal... It is a, an eternal mission of mine to play everything, even if it's only for a bit. It's also one of those where the uh, the tutorial is a little, oh, would I say strong? Let's see. So that should be a whole bunch. Yep, there we go. Now, do we recycle this whole thing? How much lead do I have? I don't have enough yet. I'm, I'm going to keep going for a little bit longer. Interesting and risky method to mine resources. All the alternative was butts. Part of it is, it's also actually really hard to tell if I'm even doing the tutorial or if it's just kind of linear. I think we're actually past the tutorial. It's just like, I kind of prefer the Terraria setup, which is just like, here's your set of tools. Here's maybe the basics. Good luck. That's my door, you jerk. And they wreck your door fast. Guess I should probably, uh, while we wait for the... While we wait for that to go. Uh, let's see. Bring the wood in here. Nope. One. Okay, there we go. There's still a dude over here. Come on. It's 
Spot of the wannabe squid beast. Hard to go after. Okay, so I don't think... Eh. I don't think we have anything up higher. Now at this point, I pretty much have to decide... Am I going down? I mean, probably. Let's see if I can make the uh, the better control winch. We don't need the better engine. I don't need to go fast. I just need to be able to traverse the environment. Uh, let's see. So for starters, let's make about 20 planks. Okay, then we want to do this. Okay, iron lever, control, two cable symbols. We could probably make the iron lamp. Let's make the iron lamp. We're going to be down here. It's going to be dark. Let's see, I'm level three. Patch can be used to create enclosures. Okay, that's that's helpful. Switch pressure plates. Bed, sofa, everything else. A foundation, a bomb, a tube. Oh, transfer resources from any module to any ranged weapon. Grab the tube. Ricochet module might be kind of interesting. Did we get the iron boiler or engine? I can actually get neither. Okay, so let's leave that alone for a moment. Okay. Why is everything new? The most definitely is not. Okay, well one way or another we want to make... ...a better lever. I don't know how two works. Unless, maybe I do. Okay, so it looks like that's that's a separate connection. Perfect. So we want to do machinery. Grappler. Okay. I'm gonna go back and do a lot of that. I need pipes. I have pipes. Okay. What happens to my poor ladder? Whoa! Whoa! This isn't sketchy in the slightest. <laughs> yep, all right. Well, it's functioning. It is functioning. Okay. Way. All right. Ah! Oh no. Okay, we're good. Now let's go back. Probably go up the ladder a bit. Shorten it down. I mean, honestly, at this point, now that I've got the functional grappling hook, and considering its range, we can actually get rid of the uh, the giant ladder business. Well, funny. Uh, we don't need it. Oh. Okay, there we go. Everything should be reconnected. Let's make that proper enclosure. All right.
This thing needs like an e-brake. Oh, interesting. So, in the two setup, we actually can't go anywhere. Well, that's okay. We kind of don't need to. Look at all these goodies. Now, I'm not entirely sure how I'm going to get back up. I might have to make some kind of ramp system. Uh, what I might do, honestly, is just tear up the whole... Eh, tearing up the whole vehicle might not work so, so hot. Oh, this is sketchy. I gotta get me one of those hatches. <laughs> this works? Oh, the grappling hook can run up and down the wall. I didn't realize that. That's incredible. That's... This game's kind of awesome. I'm not gonna lie. It's... It's a bit on the weird side. But, like... That's really cool. Okay, so... Well, that's bouncing around for a bit. That is bouncing more aggressively than I'd like. Do we have the flax? Yes, we do. That is... F okay, so... Nope. I was kind of hoping it would hit, like, an equilibrium at some point. It did not. Okay, so let's build another one of these. I, I'm hesitant to plunge myself into abject darkness. I guess I'll put it right there. Oh no! Oh no! Oh no! Oh no! Oh no! No 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 no! What the? Hmm. Uh. Wow. You know, I'm gonna be honest here. Let's just load back. Wait. Maybe I don't want to do that. Uh What happens when I die? Uh. That's a death sentence. Uh. Can I not pick these up? I guess I kind of can. That's a shit ton of wood. Well, what do you do? Holy shit, that thing does damage. Come back here. Kill me. Kill me properly, you. Bite me. Thank you. Dude, where's your car? My car. Well, that puts us back at about here. You know what? I'm going to call this good enough. We'll, we'll, uh, we'll be wary of that creature because apparently it's a giant asshole. <laughs> My everything. Yeah, so apparently when trying to build your car, don't try and build it in the middle of a dark cave. Should have upgraded before going in. I didn't realize that thing would come along and just take a munch out of all of my everything. Ugh. Well, whatever. Uh, oops. 
Didn't necessarily mean to do that. Oh, no, 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 my car. Okay, it's still there. But yeah, we're going to want to do a rede redesign of sorts. Unfortunately, there's no, like, immediately good, safe place for me to do so. Because outside, we've got scorpions that come along and start, like, nibbling my, my shit. Oh, that set me back real freaking far, too. Uh, Alright, fine. At least we've learned some things. I might do the full redesign. But that'll be next time, for sure. <laughs>